Hey y'all doing? It's Brandon with Voodoo Forge. Now I'm going to show you how to forge a spade hook today. Um, it's also, uh, people just call it a J hook, but really the only difference between this and the draft hook that I've shown you how to forge already is the spade on the end uh, with the hole in it where you can use a screw or a nail or a bolt to mount it anywhere you want. So let me show you the steps. Okay, here are the steps in uh, making the spade hook. We've got uh, your starting material. Uh, we're going to use six inches of quarter inch square stock. It's uh, just commonly available quarter inch square stock. The first thing we're going to do is bring the uh, the tip to a, a short taper. It's not a real long taper. It just comes to a point and it's flat on one end. So it's just three sides are tapered in. Okay. And it's a like I said, it's not a it's a, a, a steeper than a long taper taper. Then we're gonna use half hammer blows and we're gonna make the spade. Then we're gonna flip it around. And then it's all just pretty common uh, stuff, stuff that we've done in, in the um, S hooks and stuff we did in the drive hook. We're gonna bring it out to a long taper on the end, a long square taper, and we're gonna round that taper. Then we're gonna make a finial. Um, Apparently other people call these a rat tail scroll. I still call it a finial. Uh, then we're going to forge our hook. We're going to put a twist in our hook. And then we're going to drill the hole in the spade to finish our hook up. Okay, with the exception of a forge, a anvil, a vise, and a way to drill holes, this is all the tools you're going to need. So basically this is all the hand tools you're going to need. You don't need a huge hammer because we're working with quarter inch steel. You do need a good pair of tongs that will hold quarter inch stock. I uh, know everybody wants to make their own tongs right out the gate. I really recommend that you invest in some tongs to at, at minimum get you going. Uh, it's about $30 a pair and it is worth that much to save the hassle. Uh, and lastly, you're going to need a twisting wrench, which uh, I've got a video on how to make one of those pretty easy out of an existing auto wrench.
Remember that hitting the corners. Remember, is that hitting this corner? So, it's so being hit by the handle on the bottom. We take it from the square to an octagon. Whatever's past that. Eventually. it has cooled off a little bit I'm gonna center punch it and drill it always center punch when I drill so my bit doesn't walk now I'm drilling a 3 16 hole in it all right well there's our finished product uh, you are not restricted to using uh, quarter inch steel you can use 3 8 you can use half inch you can use whatever you want to and the twist is not mandatory this is just this is a starting point to get you going okay y'all that was uh, a spade hook uh, different places people call them a J hook don't don't get too caught up on what specific people call them but that's uh, that's a basic hook you need in your arsenal and like I said don't don't get caught up on the stock that I use, but one thing I would recommend, pick a stock that you want to make some of these hooks out of. I really recommend going with the quarter inch square. Buy a piece, cut it into six inch pieces, and make all of them. Make 24 of them. And then do it again a couple of times, because the repetition is where you really learn the skills. Uh, a lot of smiths that are getting going now, they, they want to jump straight to very advanced projects. And they want to skip the skill building that is necessary uh, to really get going in this. So make a bunch of these. Trust me, you will find uses for them in your shop, as gifts, sell them something. But just do a bunch of them. Learn the skills. Get the skills down to where you can do it without even thinking about it. Then move on to more products. All right, we all... Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button down below. If you'd like to see more videos like it, please subscribe to us here on Voodoo Tennessee. And y'all behave yourselves.